Thank you everyone for joining this MoldX 3D webinar. This is actually part two of our light weighting series where I'll be going over the gas assisted injection molding process. Uh, so just a reminder, just uh, as we get started, make sure that you keep your microphones muted. Uh, we wanna make sure that the recording stays nice and clear for those listening to the webinar afterwards. And uh, speaking of which, after this webinar is completed, you'll be receiving a survey. If you fill out that survey, then you'll be able to receive a recording of this webinar, which you can share with your colleagues or reference at a later date. All right, so just as a, a quick introduction to what we're gonna be going over. So the gas-assisted injection molding process, what goes into it, how it differs from some of the other light weighting processes out there. All right, uh, gas-assisted injection molding features and benefits, how, uh, how this process can help you in your, uh, in, in your injection molding process, as well as how MoldX 3D can help us to, uh, to simulate this process before bringing it in the shop. All right, some results that we typically go over, some case studies, and then a final conclusion to wrap things up. All right, so starting off here, just kind of looking at a little bit of what goes into the gas-assisted injection molding process. And if you joined the webinar for the first part of this light weighting series, you would have seen the microcellular injection molding or foaming side of the light weighting processes. And the gas-assisted injection molding process is actually very similar to that, except instead of a distributed bubbles, we're going to be uh, kind of applying a bulk gas and that bulk gas is going to replace a vast majority of the material in our part, which is where the light weighting comes from. And also similar to some of the foaming processes out there, this injection of gas is actually going to help us to push the material out to the end of fill, which is going to remove a lot of the need for any sort of packing so that the air here is actually going to help us to pack out the part rather than applying a constant pressure from our injection, uh, injection point here. Um, so beyond that, because this gas is helping us to distribute the pressure a little bit more evenly across the, across the majority of our part, we're able to eliminate a lot of the sink marks, we're able to increase our dimensional stability, and we're able to uh, obviously make the part a little bit lighter because of that replacement of material due to the gas. 